Hey guys, here for another video. Today we're going to be looking at Little Sub Girl. Uh, pretty excited for this woman uh, because she's my first Asian girl and I feel like the whole Black Lives Matter, the whole like racism type shit, you know, maybe bringing back slavery. I feel like I should be a little bit more diverse. So I was like, you know what? I've been, too, been doing too many white girls. I feel like I should get an Asian girl. So fortunately, I was requested this uh, by a loyal user. So I was like, you know, I'm down to do it. I love me some Asian girls, you know. I, I don't like that their faces are very parallel. Like, uh, you know, if you were to grab an Asian girl's face, you can make it literally parallel to whatever, like, this is. So, that's the only turn off for me about Asian. Their faces are flat, but otherwise they're good. I mean, they're good at math. I love that shit. So, uh, let's talk about a little bit about Little Sub Girl. She has a Pornhub, porn, porn, uh, porn star. She has a Pornhub profile. Uh, she's kind of popping in 912 model rank, which isn't that great, but I mean, still better than mine. In fact, I'm trying to get my numbers up. I made a Pornhub account and slowly uploading my videos there. I'm thinking about streaming Tetris and chess uh, tournaments on Pornhub. Uh, I feel like if I were to try to go to Twitch, it's just too saturated. But when you look at Pornhub and Chatterbait, no one's playing fucking games there. So I'm like, maybe I could be the first one. Uh, I'm not going to be naked and showing off my dick because I'm not really trying to be a porn star, but I feel like I could just uh, get into that scene. But nonetheless, uh, she is 21, she's 98 pounds, great, you can break her if you like little petite girls and you want to fuck a little Asian girl. She does have a little bit of an issue, uh, and it is what most porn stars have an, issues, have an issue is with uh, OnlyFans, is that OnlyFans is just a downgraded, watered-down version of whatever she has on Pornhub, unfortunately, so... Uh, she is quite active on social media. She has an Instagram. I'm pretty sure her previous Instagram got deleted. So she has this uh, basic Instagram. Four posts and more followers than I'll ever have. Thank fucking like God that like maybe I have a chance at this. I don't. Makes me want to commit suicide considering how much effort I put on my Instagram. But whatever. Fuck it. Uh, she has a Patreon. A dollar to join so you could send 100 pennies to see daily selfies of her. Awesome. Uh, I don't really think it's worth it. Considering that a lot of stuff that's already on online and Pornhub is just as good. Uh, she also has Twitter, very active on it. Uh, like every other porn star, she uses Twitter as a platform to promote all her other uh, sold content. For example, clip C4s.com and little sub girl minivids.com, model hub. Everything else that she promotes is just additional uh, income for her, and they're actually better than what she offers on OnlyFans. You're like, well, what do you mean? So I can't really post it, but if you go on Model Hub and the other websites that I mentioned, there's actually penetration videos, which she doesn't have on her OnlyFans. A uh, little weird considering that she is a porn star and she, you know, she is on Pornhub and she has all these like adult, um, you know, she's recognizing the adult industry, but doesn't have any of that in her OnlyFans. So uh, it's not that great, but let's get right into her OnlyFans, like I said. So uh, her OnlyFans, $14.99 a month. Uh, I personally think that's a little bit in the higher end. I know there's people that charge $50, but I think the sweet spot's $10 to $5. If you're charging more than $10, you better be posting like actually good quality content consistently. Uh, she doesn't really post consistently. So uh, right when you get her account, you're greeted with her description. Uh, I love the instantly access portion. Uh, almost daily post, almost AKA not really daily posts if you look at the numbers. Uh, access to videos, they're not that good. Freebies, giveaways, and rewards. I don't really know what the fuck you're gonna give me that's really gonna be worth me subbing. Maybe if you gave me my $14.99 back, then it might be worth it. Uh, public exhibitionist, very true to that. She does like the flash in public. Boy girl, don't know what she means by that because there's not really any penetration videos in her uh, in her OnlyFans at all. A uh, solo, yes, everything that she has is solo, and pay-per-view messages sent one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, two times a weekly optional. Uh, yeah, I don't know why a person <laughs> would promote, hey, I'm selling more content if you get my content that you already pay for. Doesn't make sense to me. Maybe, I'm, I'm assuming she's one of the dumb Asian girls, like, you know, there's always that, like, that one Asian that's, like, half retarded. I feel like that may be her, I don't know. Maybe she's not, but uh, let's talk about her OnlyFans. So, uh, my big issue is that she doesn't really post consistently. And considering that she is a porn star, a lot of her content is just uh, not really worth it. Uh, and she kind of explicitly lies. She's like, there's boy girl content. Uh, and her OnlyFans from 
everything I've seen, because I watch all their videos and photos beforehand, uh, I didn't see anything that was boy-girl content. Uh, a lot of it was just public flashing, which if I, I feel like she's trying to be like those YouTubers are like, uh, it's just a prank, bro. Like, you know, there's like some videos online that you can find of her public flashing and it's so fucking awkward. Uh, and I can, I mean, if a girl flashes at me, awesome, but I can definitely understand why someone might feel awkward if a girl flashes her pussy and it's like fucking juice is coming out everywhere. So fuck that shit. Uh, photos, she has 182 photos. Uh, great, I mean, every photo is unique. It's just the fact that she has photos where there's like certain themes to them and you're like, well, what do you mean themes? So, we'll say uh, one theme is wearing this type of bra and then that picture will be posted like 10 times of that same bra, but there's just different poses. So uh, a lot of her pictures are like that. Uh, sure, they're unique in the sense that you can't find it on Google Images, you can't find it on Pornhub, but it's just that a lot of, she sacrifices a lot of uh, quality in terms of quantity. So there'll be a lot of same poses. It's just, you know, it's just not that great. And the fact that she has like one outfit poses 20 different poses, second outfit poses many different poses, and that's the majority of her photos. It's not really anything too surprising. Now her videos, this is what's interesting. So she has 29 videos, and it's a lot of her feeling herself. It's a lot of juicy stuff, like literally, like uh, I, I, she loves to squirt. Uh, she likes to put her finger in her pussy, right? And then it's like all liquidy and shit, and then she puts it in her mouth. Uh, I would say about 99% of, of her videos are like that. I thought I was watching like a Gatorade commercial. No ordinary thirst quencher. Gatorade is thirst aid for the deep down body thirst. From the amount of juice that was coming out of her pussy and how much she was drinking, I'm like, damn, like, bro, like Gerber should sponsor this bitch or I don't know, Powerade or something. I don't know. I was, I felt like I was watching a commercial half the time. But. There is no penetration content, if that's what you're expecting. Uh, just a lot of dildo work, a lot of her feeling herself. Uh, there'll be some content of her just being in public for a couple seconds and just slashing her tits. Uh, and let's talk about the lengths of those videos. So, her longest video is 20 minutes long. Uh, it's pretty much her walking around, I'm not too sure where, uh, walking around the sidewalk and then she like poses, talks to the cameraman and shows off her tits walking shows off her tits walking shows off her tits and this is in public so i'm just like damn like holy shit like i she has balls to do it awesome it's just i don't think it's content that's a little worth it uh sure she feels herself in public great you see her squirt awesome gatorade sponsored her something do something for her i don't know but that's the majority of that video uh after that it's five minutes long same type of ordeal She's at home, she's feeling herself. Uh, there's a video of her shoving an underwear up her ass. It's all liquidy and then she like licks it. Great, I would say the average um, length of all her videos. So the 18 minute and 20 minute one is the outlier of the, you know, of the data set that we have. Everything else is pretty low. Everything's like either a minute to 50 seconds long. So if I were to average it all out, I would say it's a good uh, 45 seconds. There's not much that happens, I mean, Really what you're paying for is to see her uh, play the dildo and feel herself. Like I said, if you love Gatorade, if you like the clear, like uh, flavored Gatorade, the, the one that's all white, you might enjoy her content because you see a lot of that. But it's nothing too special. So, little sub girl, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're a nice girl. Uh, for those that want more of her, she has a YouTube, she does ASMR. Uh, more views than I'll ever have, but there's nothing too special about her. You might as well just stick to Pornhub and X Hamster to watch her content because her OnlyFans isn't anything uh, that's too special. Unless you want to see pictures of her, great, but there's nothing, anything that I would find that's $14.99 worth it. So, uh, definitely a scam. In fact, if you're going to use the $14.99 for something, just buy 15 McChickens and McDonald's and you're gold. So, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave in the comments down below. Uh, I know there's some suggestions I have to take. It's just going to take some time, but, you know, I'll get to it. And, uh, Thanks again for watching. Have a good day, guys. Bye.